at Fuji Speedway today. I've been invited by uh, Ida san from Iding Power to come and check out a customer uh, track day that they're doing here today. It was supposed to be the, the kind of like shakedown test for their Enzo complete car, but unfortunately they weren't able to finish the engine in time. So uh, it's good and bad because we actually get to shoot the Enzo on the street possibly next week. That will be kind of cool to see uh, rather than seeing it just on the track. The good thing about uh, these kind of days is that you really get to see what people uh, drive, what people kind of choose to customize in Japan. And uh, Iding Power is a very special shop because, first of all, they've been around since uh, 1974 and they've always had uh, a thing about making complete cars. So think about, you know, going for the last remaining 20, 25% of performance that, you know, manufacturers always kind of skip out on when they develop cars. And uh, Ida san from Iding Power has always liked to kind of refine the cars, prep them. Uh, refined suspension and braking, just get a little bit more power and response out of the engines. And uh, his uh, platform of choice has always been the E30 M3. Uh, moving then on to the E36, uh, doing various kind of packages uh, of uh, complete cars. And uh, they're very recognizable because they always have these uh, really gigantic 90s type spoilers, kind of like super spoiler. Uh, at the back. Uh, he hasn't really done too many e uh, 90s, or E92s rather. There's this one here. He's the only one of the group. They just put all the cars together today to get a group picture. I can't believe I've just been given the keys to an M1, a modified M1 with 400 horsepower. I'm gonna go get to shoot it and I get to drive it too, which is awesome. Mid engine with a straight six. Not every day you get to drive a BMW M1 and one that's been tuned. This has 400 horsepower. It's been quite the experience. Apologies for the very tight angle, but this is a very tight cabin. I can barely fit inside, but uh, we're at Fuji Speedway. So um, we can actually bring this car back now because I need to exchange it for uh, an E30, but there's a bit of a tunnel here. Let's see if we can get some uh, nice sounds in second gear. Sounds glorious. number one of two that we're going to be driving today.
So this is another car that um, Iding Power has been uh, not really tuning, just kind of maintenance, working on it. The owner was pretty unhappy uh, with the condition that he found the car when he bought it. I mean, it only has 4,000 kilometers, probably didn't uh, move so much. Needed some uh, TLC. And uh, once he gave it to Ida-san, he was very happy with how it came back. So he's been sending all his cars there. These are, uh, again, complete cars. This is based on a F430 Scuderia. Stroke to 4.6 liters. So about 50, 60 horsepower bump and power. Again, front and rear bumpers, our original fenders, functional venting. Uh, this is actually a pretty curious one. This is a 550. It's actually completely stock right now, but it's about to get a stroker kit that will bump the engine capacity to six liters. So the owner's already purchased the right number plate for it. This is the 358 based on the 328. This is uh, the first complete car uh, based on a Ferrari that he built. So uh, you can tell it's kind of old school. It's got really, really old. AP racing brake calipers, but again, stroke motor refined here and there, uh, modern suspension, better brakes, some custom uh, aero touches, full exhaust. And the biggest surprise for me today was getting the chance to drive this. Talk about bucket list stuff. So they literally just throw me the keys to the M1 when I asked to shoot this and I was like, okay, jumped in. It's a tiny, tiny cabin. And of course, you know, offset uh, pedals. So you're all kind of like slanted to the right. Dog leg uh, transmission. So dog leg first. So it's kind of like hitting your leg as you put it in first gear. But this has been modified by Ida-san to 400 horsepower, he was saying. So here's the plaque. And then we kind of move on to the BMW side of things with the E30. We uh, just shot this. This is a track car that he's uh, built and refined over the years. Completely stripped out, but in a very good way. I mean, it's not like the rough kind of cars you see sometimes in Japan where, you know, it's got bolt and roll cage and it's a bit of a mess. It's very well made, upholstery and like, Extra dials there. Cold tires spins first, second, and a little bit of third. But once they warm up, it is an impressive car to drive. I didn't really take it on track. It was more the Axis Rotor on Fuji, but beautifully balanced car. And you can just feel it's so light. Here's a nice example of an E36. This is probably the most popular package or rather complete car that he's uh, ever built. He's sold so many of these. And uh, they come in four stages. Uh, and when I took Larry there the other month, we took out the stage four version. We took it down to Daikoku and it was, um, again, surprising to drive. It just pulls, pulls, pulls like a train. Power all the way from idle, great torque curve. And soon we're gonna take this out. This is an E30 M3, but it runs the straight six from the E36. So totally different character and uh, not really stripped out, still a street car. But again, you know, you have the forged magnesium Iding power wheels. Every car the Iding power makes is fitted with their standards, with their uh, original wheels, which are made here in Japan. Forged magnesium usually. Let's see if we can find the Ferrari ones. So attention to detail is seriously out of control. Like he takes everything so seriously. The branding, the way he does the thing, it's basically his way. And if you like it, you like it. If you don't, you go somewhere else. So after the group picture, they're kind of bringing the cars inside again. Uh, this has to be my favorite E36 here. I just. I think the yellow suits it so well, very unique. Nice uh, R500. So this is Mr. Ida here, he's the boss. Looks like he's gonna take this for a ride. So 
as I said, uh, Idin Power has been around since 1974. So Ida-san is actually 72 years old now. I think the most incredible thing is just his energy and passion. He keeps uh, kind of talking about his future plans, what he's going to do with the next uh, batch of cars that he wants to work on. And it's just amazing to see because a lot of tuners here in Japan are all very negative lately because of how the, the tuning uh, world has kind of shifted towards you know, aesthetic tuning and a lot of people don't really do much to their engines anymore. Uh, but Ida-san has a nice client base that always wants, you know, complete tuning. So engine, suspension, everything to kind of boost the, the car's performance in every way. So it's great to see that, you know, he's been around so long, possibly will be around for quite a bit more making great cars like these. And this video will actually um, go into a second part. Uh, we will uh, be moving to Yokohama to go and see the shop and uh, take out the Enzo on the street and uh, get some great shots. So stay tuned for that.